Hey guys, we are back with the practice of the past papers related to experimental techniques this time. Which piece of apparatus is used to measure 24.8 centimeter cube of gas produced during a reaction? All right, so I am telling you 24.8 centimeter cube of gas. So it will be either a gas syringe or anything which is uh, capable to measure the volume very accurately. Guys, beaker is basically not used for any type of measurements of liquids or uh, or the gas. Why? Because beaker is used basically for rough measurements of the liquids. As beaker has quite a wider column, so it is used for rough measurements of the liquids. So we cannot use beaker for this purpose. We will not use a conical flask as well. And why it is so? Because conical flask is an apparatus which is used for the experiment performance in the practical of titration. Okay. And now it is the measuring cylinder. Yes, it can be used because measuring cylinder is an apparatus which has a calibration, which has a measuring marks on it and it can measure very accurately so right now it is a pipette and that is also not used for this purpose it is used for measurement of 25 centimeter cube very accurately in the experiment of titration so c is the right option for this rf value i am marking here c is the right option for this now it is uh, the RF values are used to identify unknown substances using paper chromatography. Which, substance, which statement about RF values are correct? RF values are always less than 1. Yes, it is correct. Why it is so? Because uh, it is always the smaller value divided by the larger value. So that's why the values are always, the RF values are always lesser than 1. If we are looking into number 2, RF value is equal to distance traveled by solvent divided by distance traveled by unknown substance. No, RF value is distance traveled by unknown substance divided by distance traveled by solvent. Solvent distance is always larger, longer. So it is always at the bottom while dividing. It is wrong here. Okay, what about number three? The higher the RF value, the further the unknown substance travel. Yes, no doubt. Uh, the longer is the uh, distance traveled, the higher will be the RF value. So this is correct as well. RF values are not affected by the solubility of the unknown substances. No, it is affected by the solubility. If higher is the solubility, higher is the distance traveled, higher will be the RF value. So one and three is the right option. B is the right option. These are correct statements related to RF values. Now I am on question number 58. A student is asked to measure the time taken for 0.4 grams of magnesium carbonate. What is the formula of magnesium carbonate? It will be capital M small g. Okay, MgCO3 magnesium carbonate to react completely with 25 centimeter cube of dilute hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid formula HCl. What will be the equation? First of all, it will be MgCO3 plus 2 HCl and it is going to produce what MgCl2 MgCl2 plus CO2 plus H2O. Let me tell you one thing more clearly. Magnesium carbonate is one of the carbonate. So whenever any metal carbonate, magnesium is a metal, sodium carbonate, copper carbonate, lithium carbonate, zinc carbonate, when any of the metal carbonate is going to react with an acid, it is going to produce carbon dioxide, water and, and, and a salt as well. Carbon dioxide is a gas which is turning lime water milky. So please be careful about this all. Which pieces of apparatus use does the does does the student need to uh, need to do this reaction? For example, a student is asked. I'm repeating the whole statement. A student is asked to measure the time taken. Measure the time taken. So what we should have? We should have a stopwatch first. First of all, okay. Stop clock here. Stop clock here. Stop clock here. It means that C cannot be used. Okay. And then thermometer is needed. No, thermometer is not needed because we are not measuring the temperature. So we are omitting the thermometer. So what will be the right option? A is the right option. So we know very clearly that stop clock is used to measure the time. And we know very clearly that thermometer is used to measure the temperature. So as we are not requiring thermometer, so B, C and D will be, uh, will be, uh, will be 
omitted whereas a will be the right option because it has top cloth and it does not have thermometer as well why we are requiring pipette to measure 25 cm cube of hydrochloric acid and why we are requiring a balance so that we may measure 0.4 grams of magnesium carbonate all right and then what is question number 59 <clears throat> Which piece of apparatus should be used to measure exactly twenty one point four centimeter cube of water? Twenty one point four centimeter cube of water. It will be a burette. Why it is so? It will be a burette, or it can be a beaker as it can be a measuring cylinder as well. But a burette will give you a very perfect type of uh, measurement. So a burette will be considered as right option. Why we cannot use beaker? I have just told you in question number fifty six. Yes, that a beaker is basically used for rough measurement. Why we cannot use a pipette? Because a pipette can measure exact twenty five centimeter cube of volume. It cannot measure more than that or less than that. So this is the right option, burette, which can measure twenty one point four centimeter cube very accurately. Okay. so right now i am on the next page and what is that question telling you okay uh 2 g of powdered calcium carbonate is added to 50 cm cube of hydrochloric acid which apparatus is used to measure the calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid calcium carbonate will be measured by a balance whereas the hydrochloric acid will be measured by a burette so thermometer and balance is the right wrong option so this is the right option a all right so because calcium carbonate is a solid it will be measured up by a balance whereas um hydrochloric acid is a liquid which can be measured very accurately with the help of uh, burette okay it can measure 50 cm cube very clearly it is the apparatus which has the um, which has a diagram like this at the top it is uh, filled whereas at the bottom there is a controlling tap and it is zero at the top whereas 50 at the bottom zero and 1 2 3 and onwards all right so a student measures and it is filled from the top please uh, before moving towards question number 54 i would like to inform you that uh, burette is filled with the help of a filter funnel by keeping filter funnel at the top of this burette okay a student measures 25 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid accurately okay this is okay which apparatus is most suitable most suitable it can be either a burette or a measuring cylinder they are now asking 25 cm cube so we must go towards a pipet okay we must go towards a pipet so this is the right answer no doubt we can measure 25 cm cube with the help of a measuring cylinder with the help of a burette as well but guys this thing has been informed to you for so many times before as well that whenever examiner is asking you to measure exact exact 25 cm cube then you should take a pipet okay now we are on question number 55 and what this is telling you that the, the chromatogram of solutions of two metal ions p and q all right p and q is there this is q right now and this is p okay r is shown done p is colored a locating agent is used p is colored okay a locating agent is used to identify to find the position of q the rf value of each of the solution is calculated p is a dash element and has an rf value of dash than that of q remember this thing that p is a transitional block element and it has a greater rf value than q so c will be the right option let me explain this whenever a substance is colored it is not requiring any locating agent whenever a substance is colored less it is requiring a locating agent and transitional block elements are those elements which are between group number 2 and group number 3 the block of elements which is between group number 2 and group number 3 let me draw the rough diagram of a periodic table here so this is the rough sketch of periodic table so this is a block of elements and this is called as transitional block elements transitional block elements have one of the property that they are making colored compound so here in the chromatogram they are going to make a colored compound we can say this thing that transitional block elements are making colored compounds 
so what is happening over here transitional block elements are making collet compounds so they are not requiring any additional locating agent we can say this thing that transitional block elements are not requiring a locating agent so p is an element of transitional block and has an rf value greater than a q y because p has traveled longer distance so its rf value will be greater than that of q so this is the answer of this question all right so afterwards i am moving to the next board and this is the question number 51 over there the diagram show four pieces of laboratory equipment balance pipette stop clock thermometer which equipment is essential to find out if dissolving a salt in a water and an exothermic process so thermometer is requiring because we are we are informed with the term exothermic process exothermic processes are those processes in which heat energy is released okay and then uh, if dissolving salt in water okay so dissolving salt in water it means that we have to measure we have to measure the amount of the salt as well okay so for example Uh, this is b for example why it is so because we are requiring a balance but we are not requiring pipette we are just dissolving salt in water all right so we are just uh, looking into the fact that what was the balance what was the what was the mass of the salt before and after for example okay so we can say this thing that um, uh, that uh, this is the balance and this much amount is added and this is the temperature change after adding this much amount of the solid okay so this is uh, the right option is b as the reaction is exothermic so it is just giving you an indication that temperature change is happening that heat energy is released in this case whereas balance is required why it is so so that we may look into the fact that um, this much amount of the salt is added into it okay so b is the right option for question number 51 now we are on question number 52 we can see the measurements from a chromatography experiments using substance f are shown okay the diagram is not drawn to scale done it is in the millimeter so we have to uh, take the ruler with the centimeter okay what is the rf value of f guys i have told you for so many times in the previous videos that how to measure the rf values so it is the distance traveled by f from the from the what from the baseline all right this line is not okay i am going to make a straight line all right this is the line okay so i am going to measure the distance from the baseline to the center of the point f and then the distance traveled by the uh, solvent okay and uh, what you are going to do distance traveled by f divided by distance traveled by solvent in this way we are going to calculate the rf value of f okay so now we are on the next point and that is called page number page number i don't know what's the page number it's a question number 49 please so paper chromatography is done in the same way with three different mixtures of dyes okay each mixture contains at least one of the dyes w x y and z okay the rf values of the dyes in the three mixtures are shown rf values of the mixture 1 is there rf values of mixture 2 rf values of mixture 3 which conclusion is correct that w is nearest the solvent front and is present only in mixture 1 and mixture 3 okay let's see that w is closest is nearest to the solvent front which has the highest uh, rf value you can see that x has the lowest rf value okay so we can say that uh, i should i should erase this okay i should mark it comparatively a narrow oh no it's not happening i can take this okay so x is insoluble in water x has traveled the farthest up to the chromatography paper no why it is so because it is a wrong statement why it is so because it has not traveled okay dy y is the only present in all three okay is not the only present because uh, dy w and uh, dy z is uh, dy w is also present in all three okay so this is also not correct dy z is nearest to the solvent front and is found only in two of the mixture yes we can say this is correct why it is so 
because dye Z is nearest to the solvent front because it has traveled the longest distance as its RF value is the largest. Okay. Dye W and dye Y are present in all three because there is no zero in W and Y. Dye Z is not present in the mixture number one because in mixture number one, dye Z is giving zero. So, dye Z has traveled the longest distance, 0 0.91, 0 0.91 in mixture number 2 and mixture number 3. But dye Z is not present in mixture number 1. So, please be careful about this fact, okay? Now is the next question. Solid R reacted with dilute sulfuric acid, all right. The initial temperature of the dilute sulfuric acid and the final temperature of the solutions are shown. So, what is the initial temperature? It is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, 21, 22, 22. Okay, so this is 22 degrees Celsius. Okay, and what about this? Oh, temperature is falling. Okay. So, it is 15 and it is 16. So, the reaction is basically endothermic because uh, heat energy is absorbed. So, thermometer will sense the low temperature. Okay. So, what they are saying, what was the change in the solution temperature? It is decreasing from 22 to 15. So, 7, 6 degrees are lesser in this case. Okay. 6 degrees are lesser. Uh, 16. It is 16 here. Okay. It is 16 here, 16 degrees Celsius here. So, it is a 6 degree decrease in the temperature. Alright. So, it will be the A option. A option. Why it is so? Because initial temperature is 22 and the final is 16. So, temperature has been decreased. It is minus 6 degree. Change is minus 6 degree Celsius. All right. So, the reaction in which the temperature on the thermometer is increased, the, temp the reaction is called as exothermic. Reaction has thrown the heat energy out of it and as a result, the temperature on the thermometer is increased. If the temperature on the thermometer is decreased, the reaction is endothermic. The heat energy is absorbed by the reaction and the temperature is... Uh, temperature is uh, falling on the thermometer. So, these are the points which a person should know related to endothermic and exothermic. All right, students. Now, I am on the next question. Chromatography is a technique used to separate color dyes, which dye has an RF value of 0 0.7. So, obviously, you have to measure the distance traveled by A. You have to measure the distance traveled by C, distance traveled by B, distance traveled by D, and the distance traveled by the solvent front. So, it will be A divided by solvent, B divided by solvent, C divided by solvent and D divided by solvent. In all cases, you are going to measure the distances and as a result, the final RF value will be calculated for all of them and you will see which is closest to 0 0.7 or which is exactly 0 0.7. So, if the answer is 0 0.69 or 0 0.71, both will be considered 0 0.7 because a small human error can be there. All right. Please be careful about this. Which piece of apparatus is used to measure exactly 26.3? All right. It cannot be a pipette. Why? Because it can measure only 25 centimeter cube in this pipette. Okay. We can measure exactly 26.3 with the help of a burette because burette has very accurate type of measurements as, as it has a narrow column. We can measure it uh, through D option as well. Why it is so? Because D is uh, D is uh, your measuring cylinder. But they are saying very accurately, exactly. So, it is called burette. Why? Because it has comparatively a narrow column. Why we cannot use B? Because in B, you can see that there are larger calibrations. So, it can measure like uh, 25, 26, 27. But uh, it is not uh, going to measure like 26.1 or 26.2, etc. So, it is the last question of the day. A chromatography experiment was done to separate the mixture of the four substances. The RF value measured for three substances were 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8 and 0 0.8, which diagram shows the chromatography chromatogram obtained. So, you are going to measure the RF values in each case. For example, here in this and this value and this distance and this distance. So, four distances and divided by this. Okay. 
in the same way you are going to implement this practical on all four you are going to measure we cannot we cannot measure the distance in a y because it is only giving you one point the rf value is measured for these distance substances were these so there are four points so simply we have to neglect a okay and similarly we have to neglect uh, c as well why because it is going to give you a three uh, measurements it is a clearly d option why it is so because two of the points are similar in case of the given measurements whereas two of the points are similar on d point as well all right so d is the right option for question number 48 okay guys thank you very much today we have solved many of the questions may you rise and shine in chemistry due to this channel thank you very much take care